Okay guys, welcome back. Whoa, it's another snowy one out here. Lots of ice around and we got a new snowpack on the roof. Brought the tractor out here today because we've had one heck of a storm here this morning. I actually ran back to the shop to grab a few things because I came out this morning, got everything opened up and then we had a bit of a, I don't know what you want to call it, a snow squall roll through. Coated everything again, so that's probably a lesson for me. Anytime I open this up, I better be sawing within the next few minutes or I could expect something like this. Anyways, we're going to get after it again today. Uh, you guys would have seen most most recently on one of the episodes, I, I ended up putting this thing in. And um, this thing's turned out to be pretty useful for me. So I'm going to be using this again here today. But that is, of course, after we saw this piece right here, this is a piece of spruce up here, a spruce log. This is the top section of that big log. You would have seen me make into those pieces of lumber over there. This one here will probably make into some 2 by 4s because I think that's what I need for my project that I'll tell you guys about another time. So uh, we'll get things fired up. But first off, as you guys look down here, we have got to clear the snow away. Just in that, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe hour or two break I took uh, this morning when I left here, we probably got a few centimeters of snow. So we'll clear it away again with the blower and then we'll make the best of it. Glad you guys are all here. We are certainly in the midst of a good solid winter here in central Ontario, Canada. Just so happened that that winter is later in the year, but we'll fight it. We'll get it taken care of. We'll get back to sawn and well, we'll continue to enjoy ourselves out here. And by we, I mean me. Guys, I'm glad you're here. Let's get down to work. That's good enough for now as you guys will figure out if you hang around the channel long enough my memory's good but short and so last time I was cutting what I should have done is got the blower and cleared away all the dust because it did uh, it did freeze in some sections on the deck that's to be expected as you guys can imagine and if you look at my breath it's not exactly warm out here so if something has any moisture in it it freezes almost immediately and uh, anyways that's the way it goes if you're gonna cut wood even under a enclosure like this you're gonna have some struggles and you just get used to it especially when it snows like this day in and day out you either get used to it or you quit and I'm not gonna quit anyways let's cut some wood if you guys are brand new to sawing I just want to point something out to you before we fire it up you'll notice right here you got a fair bit of buildup in that groove of that wheel now these things are designed to keep the uh, keep the wheels clean and they do work but the trouble is if that sawdust gets wet like mine then it can freeze on there before this thing has a chance to do its job and as a result it gets stuck. So you got to come through here and I don't know what you're going to use but I just use a I just use a uh, screwdriver. You could probably use a something round maybe the end of a round file 
and just sort of chip that off there. And that's gonna help to make sure that the height is the same on this side of the sawmill compared to that one. It'll also prevent you from getting a bump when you're pushing it or feeling a bump when you're pushing it. It's pretty obvious when that happens. And we'll just continue on here and I just go around and get all four get all four of the uh, the wheels there.
All right, guys. Well, we got some lumber stacked up there, some beautiful two by fours. We're going to leave those all stickered up to dry. Now, I've got this pile here on the ground, and there's no, uh, there's no hiding the fact that I don't really like doing this type of cutting. I hate taking all the extra pieces like these. I don't know what we'd even call them, the uh, better than slab wood. Slab wood's the waste wood. The better than slab wood and cutting the edges off. I don't like doing that very much. I think in a perfect world, I'd have a machine that actually, uh, well, an edging machine. You just run the, uh, the pieces through, it cuts the edges off, and then you end up stacking them over there like the rest of the lumber. But these edges, they take a bit of extra work. I don't like wasting it. I know some of you guys will just throw it into the slab wood pile. I don't like doing that. I don't have any use for um, live edge material either. So I'm going to put this up on edge. I'm going to cut the edges off it, and then we'll make some lumber at least stacked into the lumber shed. So here we go. Let's finish this off.
All right, guys. Well, another nice stack of lumber is put up into the lumber shed. I've got the tarps down this time. I finally remembered to clean out the sawmill shed, put the tarps down so hopefully some of that blowing snow stays outside instead of inside. Now, all this stuff here, I probably just have to take the shovel there and just scrape it up. But a lot of it is actually frozen. But I got the majority of it cleaned up from today. These tarps are not a perfect solution, but they are definitely a good solution. If you guys could imagine me putting up solid walls here, it'd be very dark in here. Now, I could make some sliding doors, maybe some things that flip up, but uh, that's going to have to have a little bit of thinking put into it because I'll have to design that and figure out a way to make it work. This, for now, as I said, is working good. Uh, I don't put them down all that often. I don't put them down at all in the summer. I just put them in, uh, put them down the odd time in the winter. So uh, that's why I like it. Anyways, we'll uh, be back out here very soon. Glad you guys could join me. You all take care. If you have any questions, put it down below. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, and I'll see all you guys next time.